We've taken the honey off of this colony. It's the end of the season and it's a great time to check on our varroa levels within the population. First thing we need to do though is find the queen. So we're going to go in, find the queen and make sure that she is uh, sequestered before we start taking bees to look for varroa levels. In order to obtain a more consistent uh, analysis of the varroa in the colony, you should sample multiple frames of brood within the brood chamber. That way we can get a variety of bees with varroa on them within our sample and we're not just using one area of the colony for our analysis. Found a frame of brood, some worker bees on it. Put a tub in front of the colony so that if the, the bees miss the tub, they can walk back in the front entrance. Grip both ends of the frame quite firmly and shake the bees into the tub. You want to do this again for a multiple of frames, at least two to three, so that there's a variety of bees in your sample. Another way to look for varroa mites is the etherol method. All you need is a glass jar with no labels on the side so you can see clearly, uh, a nice tight lid, some starter fluid or ether, you can get this at uh, a Canadian tire, uh, and the bees. So we already have the tub here with bees uh, ready to go. We want a half cup, which is approximately 300 bees, so we want to get a nice level half cup. I have my lid close by ready to go because if I let bees out, I no longer have my half cup of bees. It's a good idea to walk away from the colony at this point as the ether sometimes irritates the bees. Find an open area. You want to make sure the bees don't fly out so we're going to tap it on the ground and have the ether ready to go. Make sure the nozzle is pointing in the right direction. Good three squirts to coat the bees. And you just want to, again, shake them around. Don't shake them too hard. Uh, you don't want the bees to fall apart. You just want the varroa to be released from the, the bees. And the varroa will stick to the glass jar and the bees will not. So again, you have to shake for about a minute and a half to two minutes just to get everything nice and coated. And once the time has passed, you can find a line on the jar, you can draw a line on with a um, marker, start the counting there and you just want to roll the jar and count the varroa as you go. Make sure you check the bottom and also in the lid and in the, uh, the threads, because you're shaking the jar back and forth, it will get up into the top here. <laughs>